Oh my god, I seriously can't describe how funny it is that I'm just bald and got a beard and I'm the same guy. Makes no sense. <laughs> this guy's OP. Sherlock Holmes, the devil's daughter. Let's do this. Where do we leave off, like? What's going on, people? It's Michael here, otherwise known as Mike Harris Gaming. And welcome to episode five, I do believe, of Sherlock Holmes, the devil's daughter. I think you'll find this episode four. <laughs> hey. Let's get into this, boys. Let's carry on from where we left off. I'm back. I'm bald. I got a beard, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, we can go to Marsh's house now. And sneak in, basically. Let's go. Sneak into Marsh's house. To Marsh's house. I'm just sitting here. Smoking my cigar. Shut up. Boom, let's go. We sneaky, we sneaky. Holmes, what are you doing here? What are you planning? A mission of my own. You must play the role of the conscientious doctor while <laughs> I sneak inside Marsh's house. That's the only way of helping little Tom. <laughs> oh my god, I seriously can't describe how funny it is that I'm just bald and got a beard and I'm the same guy. Makes no sense. <laughs> this guy's OP! Right, we're inside Marsh's house. Well, the outside of it anyway. We're not actually inside inside. But what we got to do, check through the windows and ting. The window is firmly shut. Is shut door. There's no way we're sneaking in the door. Oh, lockpick, lockpick. Okay, so I kind of learnt this one. I think it's one level. Uh, yep. And then two level. The first one had one block, and the second has two. So then you'd go for the next one. And this is how it's done, boy. Genius. Let's go inside. Ooh. How can I help you? I came to visit Lord Marsh. On a mission! I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please. Them footsteps, though. Ooh! Oh, you're so clumsy. Can you please not- I have to visit Lord Marsh and offer him my services. Fisher, please allow Dr. Watson to enter. Oh. Good job, Watson. We are some sneaky man them. So we've got to check out everything. Lord Marsh is a keen hunter. He's a hunter. He's a toe punter. Right. What we got? Letter. To this day and by my estimation, the special education program has saved over 200 individuals from the gutter and elevated them to help form and support the critical foundations of our prosperous empire. This is largely thanks to the wisdom and foresight of Lord Marsh, who is a most progressive and wise politician. He has carried out a great deal of work in this field, whilst ignoring the critics and any hindrance from his arrogant colleagues who are so set in their ways. So that's about Marsh's political letter. What else we got? What the fuck? Oh, we're moving it so we get this. Okay. Dear Lord Collins, it is clear to me that we could learn a great many things about running the empire from those whom we, yeah, trample underfoot. These same people whom we leave destitute and starving in the shadows of our own cities at home or abroad. Lord Marsh. That was a letter to Lord Collins. Excuse the accent. Dear Lord Marsh, thanks to the special education program, my life has been changed completely. I didn't know how to thank you, so I picked you this flower. Thank you. Pauper's letter. Damn, Daniel. What else are we saying then? Oh, yeah, we've got to press Y. There's more on here. Hunter and Club. Boom. So we've got another thing here. Lord Marsh and his friends are skillful and experienced hunters. Okay. Mandem. We're learning about this guy. Is he like the main thing? Painting. Hanging crookedly. Fingerprints. What's going on here? Oh. Let's see how hard to crack this safe is. We're cracking the safe! Doctor, it appears that you were impatient to pay me another visit. Indeed. Will you allow me to examine you? A second opinion, so that the great Lord Marsh does not become the late Lord Marsh. <laughs> well, since you put it that way, very well. Shall I retire to your office, Lord Marsh? No, please, Doctor. I insist that you stay. I shall need your assistance. Will you break anything else? I'll try my best. Oh, shut, 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 shut. Are we still picking this lot? Yeah? No. Mr. Holmes? Oi, what? What are you doing here? No way. I've been caught. I was meant to get out, I'm guessing. Really? Wow. Will you break anything else? I'll try my best. Yeah. Now we've got to get out. Escape. Oh, shit. I've gone into the window. Hide here? Oi, we're hiding, bruv. This is the sneakiest thing. We're going to rob man safe, boy. Yes. I wonder what we might find. 
I wonder if the gun on the wall has anything to do with anything. Oh, hey, man's looking like a beast out here with his bald head. Crack in the safe. Let's see, let's see. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Right, rotate the safe dial and locate the area of clear sound feedback to confirm the correct safe combination. Oh, my God. That's one down, I think. Yes. Next one, next one. I think that might have been it there. Listen carefully. Here. Boom. We're nearly in. Let's go the other way. What's in the safe? There it is. 14. Boom. What you got? Boy, ooh, we got a letter. I so admire all of these paupers. They seem to me such a breath of fresh air. Communicating with them is such a pleasure, and they are so smart, not like us. Perhaps it is they who should have been lords, and we the simple commoners, Lord Harrington. Random. November 7th. This means that the meeting is planned for today. Oh shit. On November 7th, our meeting starts at Grunston's Oak. I have attached a map to this letter so that you may find the place easily. Oh, are we going somewhere else? Give me that. Mad thing. So now we got a map to probably go somewhere else. Sweet. Nice. Let's see what we got to do next. Hmm. I'd suggest that your current weakness is perhaps more than a simple case of influenza, Lord Marsh. <laughs> Where might your companion be, Dr. Watson? Oh, he's busy poking his nose into other people's business, I'm sure. <clears throat> Ooh. Blood, blood, blood. My lord, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I must remind you about your meeting. Is it already time? My apologies, Dr. Watson, but we are expected elsewhere. Might we offer you a lift? You are going out. I'm not sure that's wise in your condition. I value your opinion, but misery never rests and I am needed. Well, do please take good care of yourself, Lord Marsh. I'll send you my diagnosis, Dr. Fisher. Thank you, Dr. Watson. Farewell. We got the bloody tissue. Literally. Boom, baby, boom. Handkerchief. Perform analysis. Yeah, we have to perform an analysis on it, I think. Bam. We're getting closer and closer to finding out what happened to this guy's dad and everything, man. It's, it feels so good. Yeah. I don't like how long these fucking carriage rides take, though. I'm just sitting here reading the same book every time. It's so bloody fun. Staring into your eyes, Watson. You're my best friend, you know that. Yes, finally get out of here. Fuck this. What the fuck was I doing then? What we gotta do now? What we gotta do now? Uh, and we got a chemistry ting. I don't know. Let's talk to you. Oh, analyze handkerchief. Watson, what are you doing at my table? I just need to check one thing about Lord Marsh. Ooh! Science and ting. Science and ting. My intuition tells me that Lord Marsh is hiding something about his disease. His cough, in addition to his fever and his usage of strong painkillers, leads me to believe that he is seriously ill. Mandem. Let's study it more closely. Science and ting. Set focus up, set focus down. Sputum with tiny drops of blood. Hmm. I could take a sample What's and that? examine it under the microscope. Go on I in. need to take a sample of it using the glass rod. The glass rod. Here we go. Boom. Take a swab of that. Put it on there. Let us apply chemicals to color the sample. Chemicals. Let's go with the blue ting. I need a pipette. All right, mate. Calm down. Get the pipette. Put it in the blue ting. This chemical should be applied third. Third. What about this one? This chemical should oh, be applied second. Oh, fuck you. This one first. Whack that on there. Ooh, it's colourful. Another one. Acid alcohol on the ting. It's going to get pissed, bro. It's going to get pissed. Okay, and this one. What we're going to find out here, yo. Boom. It's now, changing colours. Let's examine the coloured sample under the microscope. Microscope. I need a sample first. What do you mean, bro? Give me that shit. Whack it on there. Let's do this. Examine the stain in detail and look for unusual elements. Oh, look, 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 look. Right here, right here. This ting. Mycobacterium. It appears that Lord Marsh is seriously ill. Serious? Man's ill in that. Holmes, this is no longer a laughing matter. It is just as I feared Lord Marsh is suffering from tuberculosis. You don't say. Yes, I do say. And Holmes, he will die if he is not transferred to a sanatorium as soon as possible. And yet both Lord Marsh and Dr. Fisher are doing their best to hide this fact. How interesting. But why? Why indeed, Watson. Oh, but... Oh, dear God. You don't think that Lord Marsh contracted tuberculosis while aiding the poor? 
How terrible. I have a commitment that I can't possibly cancel. Holmes, during my absence, please be extremely careful. This disease is highly contagious. And remember that we have women at home. Oh my god. So Lord Marsh has got tuberculosis and apparently he's gonna die, basically. Not good. Thank you, Miss Alice. Until later. I'll see you soon, Caitlin. Where have you been? Our neighbour lent me a book. She is so kind. I think she likes you. <laughs> I doubt that. How is your investigation going? It's going. Dracula? Yes. It's forbidden reading at my boarding school. Did you know? Well, well. Ooh! <gasps> this is so romantic. Really? Really? Oi. A map of London and its surroundings. Could be useful. That's probably why you've got it, mate. You know, it is your place and everything. You would have thought so. Well, well. Sweet slumber after a hard working day. On my pillow. He's still on my pillow! Right, what we gotta do then? Okay, I'll find out what we gotta do next, basically. I think this is it anyway. Search archives for the military badge Wolfjack and search archives for Grunkston's Oak. It's pinpointed on the map that was attached to Lord Marsh's invitation, so we gotta look at them basically in our archive and see what's good, bro. We back! Right, examine Wolfjack. Wolfjack, Wolfjack! Man like Wolfjack. I swear I saw that somewhere. Right here. A Wolfjack is half wolf and half jackrabbit. It was used by the Lovat Scouts as a self descriptive nickname. The Lovat Scouts formerly became the British Army's first marksman unit. Here it is. Boom! Now the other one. We're getting some clues in that as well here. So that's decent. What do we have to find for this one? Fuck off, I went back off it by accident like. English Oaks. Yes! Grunkston's Oak, boy, is a strange and mysterious tree that grows in Epping Forest. I've heard of that before. The origin of its name and unconfirmed, although there are many legends and fables connected with it. Some say that over centuries, witches perform their ceremonies near this tree, and these rites have assured that whoever may touch the trunk of Grunkston's Oak will be cursed for all time. Grunkston's Oak is in Epping Forest. That's the place indicated on George Hurst's map. Holy shit! Search the map. How? It's not that, is it? It is! Oh my god! Let's try to find the place from the hand-drawn map. The fucking thing that I clicked on before is actually what I need. Oh my god. Right, we gotta find this place and put this down. So, it's not here by the looks of it. Nope, go down. Should be easy to find, surely. I found it. There you go. Drat. I need to hurry if I want to find out what's going on at the forest. Yeah, buddy! Father, that boy Wiggins, does he come here very often? He helps occasionally in some of my cases. Why do you ask? I'd like to talk to him. Talk to him? Father, back at school there are only girls to talk to, and they are so boring. I'm sure Wiggins has lots of exciting stories to tell about his life in London. It would be so romantic. So romantic! Let's be reasonable here. Caitlin, you know that Wiggins hasn't had the most fortunate life. That only makes him more interesting. Oh, Kate. She likes him. <sighs> I'll leave you alone now. Really? You was meant to be nice, man. Right, let's look at our clues quick. Would that be this? Yep, buddy! We've got a new ting, new ting, new ting. What is it? George Hurst had belonged to the Lovat Scouts Marksman Unit. Sweet. Really love that. What's the other one? Do we get a ting for this? The map and the invitation? I don't know. Yeah, it will be. Boom! We've got bear tings going on. George Hurst knew about the meeting between Lord Marsh and his companions that took place in Epping Forest. Could the kid's dad be there? Ooh, we got another big bubble. Let's have a look. Go to Epping Forest. Lord Marsh and his companions entered the forest that was indicated on George Hurst's map to hold a meeting. Oh my god, it's all going down. Epping Forest. But fortunately, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. It's gone long enough now. It's been pretty, pretty well, decent. We've got loads of shit done and it's beautiful. We've got the next part coming up soon where we go to Epping Forest and find out what's good. Anyway, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all my future content. Thank you very much for watching. I love you guys and peace. The fuck? Ow. Yeah, like my bald head is very shiny.